First Scotrail is committed to ensuring that all their staff achieve their professional and personal potential, and core skills are delivered at their training academy in Glasgow. Everyone that joins First ScotRail comes here to Glasgow to our Purpose Built Training Academy and they spend five days here covering everything from customer service, safety and a general introduction to the organisation. After that, depending on their job role, they can stay here anything up to 14 months for our trained drivers to make sure that everyone's fully equipped to do the job. One of those trainees is Diane from Fort William, who's on a 14-month driver's course. I started out five years ago um, doing the trolleys, the catering host, and then from then I went on to Station Grade Day up at Fort William Station, and I've progressed from Station Grade Day through to Station Grade B, and then eventually Conductor in Malig, and that's where I'm based at the moment. This job came available about four months ago, and I've decided to go for it, just seen it as the next step in my career. Since starting with ScotRail, I've always seen it as an opportunity, and I just thought, well, why not? Give it a try. Reach out the signal. Green. And then after this last week of rules, uh, which is basically the highway code for train drivers, and we go out for more cab experience, and then I go into traction, um, basic fault finding on the train, anything that could go wrong with the train, see if we could fix it and try and get on our way again. Go to page 30 of your professional driving policy. We've actually been so successful with the academy, we're running at 96% occupancy that we've had to build a second academy with four additional training rooms in Glasgow, so we're really, really delighted with the, the take-up of learning in the organisation. But it's not only professional skills that are on offer through the training academy. Earn As You Learn is run in partnership with the Rail Union Learning Centre. We've got an absolutely fantastic partnership with the trade unions through our Rail Union Learning Centre at Stowe College um, and from that um, initial um, partnership what we've done is we've created 10 learning hubs throughout Scotland, again trying to take the learning out to the staff uh, wherever they might be based um, and we've got some fantastic examples of numeracy and literacy training right through to cookery skills because at the end of the day it is all about development. Union learning reps identify people who need help with numeracy and literacy skills. Their managers don't have to know they're attending the course. You find that most people within the railway now have left school somewhere in the region between 15 and 20 years ago. And it's, it's not that they haven't got the skills, it's just that their skills have got rusty. And uh, what we do is we try and brush up their skills, uh, bring them more up to date. Uh, not only when we're doing the numeracy and literacy, we always do a wee bit of IT in there as well. First ScotRail pay overtime accrued for the course. It's a few hours a week and courses run at shift-friendly times. One person to benefit from this innovative scheme is Margaret, who's worked on the railway for nearly 30 years. The, I was free to go because of no knowing and other people thinking she's stupid. That was just how I felt. I think that's how everybody feels. Um, but when, when I went, it was totally different because everybody's the same. Everybody's in the same boat as you. I was in the railway 28 years. I'd never felt on one form myself till I went to Stowe College. I'd like to try and learn a wee bit more. Um, I think it pushes. You're never too old to learn. I used to think oh, people think you're daft at my age, can it? But you're never. That this college thing's been brilliant for me, and it, it, it got me out, and I met a lot of lovely people into the bargain, which helps but I thoroughly enjoyed it, everybody. Yeah.